some tarot. Who's up first tonight? It's tarot time around here. Well, fire babies. <laughs> fire babies. First and foremost, here we go. My fire babies. That's a wild fire. Fire. Hey, Tanner. Glad you're here. All right. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Let's do it. Where's my fire babies at? Oh, they're right here on top. Of course they are. <laughs> here we go. All right. Aries, Leo, Saggy, my fire babies. Let's go. It's tarot time. Wednesday night with the fam. Big money. Thank you, brother. Appreciate you so very much. It's such a blessing, my friend. Hey, Stacy. Glad you're here tonight. And everybody else as well. Let's go. Who's up? Aries, babies. Aries. Aries. All right. Let's tune in first. Hey, Tarot Love Team. All my friends are here to play a little tarot with us tonight. Let's tell them what they need to know most for their highest good. I want to thank you for clarity, accuracy on my part. Help me see. Help me speak what I need. Help all my friends seeing here what they need out of these reads tonight. Let's have some fun. Let's tell everybody what they need to know most for the highest good. We're going to be looking for love, relationships. We're looking for the good stuff, Source. You know we are. So thank you for helping us see it. Appreciate you. Can't do this without you, love team. Thank you so very, very much. All right. Aries, babies. Aries, babies. Show this tarot deck off right here. To the world. It's a fun deck. It's got cartoon pictures in it. You'll see it if you don't know it. It's super fun. Let's go. Let's go. Hello, Aries. Rambling Mike here. Going to play a little tarot with you today. Thanks for tuning in one more time. Aries, appreciate your views. All your likes. Thank you, my friend. I always want to say thank you for the many gifts. So very kind of you, Aries. Appreciate them all. Are just small. I always want to say thank you. If you've ever blessed me, my Aries friends, thank you so very, very much. Uh, playing with a fun deck tonight. Somebody blessed me with it years ago. It's called the White Fly Tarot. I'm sure you can find it online somewhere. Fun deck. Going to freestyle with that. Also, I am going to play with Doreen's love cards, huh? And uh, Major Arcana. You know it from the Illuminati. We're going to start to read off with the love cards. And I think I'm just going to play exclusively with the white fly tonight. Let's see what the tarot has to say. Aries, Aries, love team. We're filming this during the eclipse, babies. Here we go. Aries, Aries, Aries. We're looking for love and relationships. We can play out vice versa. We all know tarot. Huh? I can talk about work, home, family. You know it. Here we go. But I'm looking for love. Aries, Aries. Here we go. First card out. Reconciliation. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Oh, man. It's eclipse season, huh? Aries, Aries, somebody wants to hold you in their arms again. Oh, Aries, Aries, let me hold you in my arms. <laughs> hey, hey, okay. Could be a forewarned, forearmed. Other Aries be like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Too much fun. All right, here we go. Here we go. Aries, Aries, love team. Reconciliation. Here we go. Here we go. What's going on? Oh, expressing the love. Oh, damn. Oh, oh they're going to be telling you all those secrets. All those secrets that they that they didn't tell you before, Aries. Okay. All right. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Well, maybe a day late and a dollar short. I don't know. I don't know. I guess you'll make this. It's, blame it on the eclipse. Here we go. Aries. Aries. Here we go. What's going on? Aries. 
<laughs> I don't know. You may bust a move, man. Maybe like we gotta go. <laughs> a day late and a dollar short. I don't know. We got we got free yourself came out. Time for you to take back control of, of your life. Uh oh, what's this? Very soon. Clearly decide what you want. Oh, there may be there may be more than one player in this game right here, huh? Aries. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they may be a day late and a dollar short. All right. All right. Let's go. Let's go, man. Let's go. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Free yourself time for you to take back control of your life and very soon clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now here we go let's do it tarot time aries aries that says a lot right there on its own happy eclipse <laughs> here we go what do we got the page of pentacles <laughs> there they are right there um capricorn taurus virgo Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Yeah. Looks like somebody's got an idea. You know, I always see the page of Pinnacles. It's, it's somebody, you know. They've been they've been planning for a long time what they want to say. Oh, they've been planning it for a little. Oh, they're looking all googly guide. They're looking all googly. Aries are looking all googly eyed at that coin right there. <laughs> oh, Lordy. I don't know. They may be in for a surprise with my little unicorn over here. Let's go. Aries. 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 You got a little page. A little page. I've been saving up a shiny coin. Look, Aries. I, I found the cornerstone of the Ten of Pentacles. I was just kind of wandering down the street. There it is. Oh, oh, I need to take this to Aries. Here we go, man. Here we go. Oh, judgment came out. Oh, look at this judgment card. It's got like a donkey, donkey head on. <laughs> yeah, a donkey head. Oh, judgment. Yeah, yeah. This somebody wants to resurrect the dead. They want to resurrect the dead around here. That's a Scorpio card, Major Arcana. Oh, the donkey. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. All right. Well. Somebody wants to raise it up. They're gonna they're gonna be expressing their love. Oh, there it is right there. They're gonna be expressing their love. That's the ace of cups. I just I was just reading the card right here. Express the love. Uh Aries, the donkey. Donkey. <laughs> the donkey wants to reconcile, Aries. <laughs> Here we go, man. Here's something over here on Free Yourself and clearly decide what you want. What's that? Wow. Wow. Okay. Got a new friend in town? Possibly. Here's something on here. Aries. Aries. <laughs> I have six donkeys. <laughs> here we go. Um, well... Another Scorpio card came out. They may be a day late and a dollar short. I don't want to tell you what to do. This is the death card. They may be just a day. I mean, that, that vessel looks, uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't really like what's coming out of it. Man. it is, yeah. Oh, well. Snooze you lose, huh, Paige? Oh. They, they, you know, they got a. This person got a mask on. I don't know if you can really see it. There's a mask. There's a mask. It came off over here. They're a donkey. <laughs> Their mask slipped. I don't know the death card. Because that the next card is free yourself. And that death card right there. Very soon, clearly decide what you want. You know, donkey's been taking over your reading here, Aries. I wonder what this is about. You got somebody new in your world? Hopefully, huh? Oh, chariot. Oh. 
free yourself and the chariot came out that's a cancer card am i going on a trip somewhere are you going to see somebody new i hope so man i hope so wow um i hope so look at this this is eight pinnacles right here you know that certainly looks like phoenix from its ashes and uh something worth building wow wow there's a sun right here you're birthing something new with somebody oh wow. maybe a little trip i personally i like all these i'm Kind of hoping that Aries has met somebody new. Going to face a little temptation over here with the donkey. Then we got free yourself and the chariot to this amazing looking eight pinnacles with a phoenix rising. Lots of coins. This all came out on uh, clearly decide what you want. And this is a beautiful, beautiful sun card right here. You might be in a whole new world by the summertime, Aries. I hope so. I hope so. You may be birthing something new right here with somebody. All right. Give me a major on this. This was fun. This was fun. Give me a major on this for Aries. Aries, love team. A chariot again. Now, there's an Aries man that got a little trip coming in here. They're, they're leaving the city right here. They all lit up. Where are you going, Aries? Where are you going? What are you going to be building over here? It's like a whole new world, birthing something new, the sun, the summertime. Chariot, for the second time, has showed up on your spread. After the donkey, after the donkey, tell the donkey, go sit down. You know. Here we go. Where are we going? Aries. One more. What's that then? What is it? It's the hermit. Aries, it's you. Aries seated in their power. There's a whole new world coming in here for you. Whole new world coming in here for you. I wouldn't play with a donkey again if this is resonating with you, Aries. It just full of the same old stuff. That's the moon. Yeah, follow your intuition. Get in your chariot. Some of you are going on a little trip, maybe to go see somebody. Looks nice, man. Hey, thanks for sharing that story with me, Aries. May all your dreams come true. I wouldn't play with a donkey, though. You know, forewarned, forearmed. Let's do it again. That was fun. Going to the beach. Perfect. Perfect. I liked all that, man. Definitely is beach time. Let's do it again. That was fun. Told you I like this deck. It's a fun deck. It's got full of stories. All right. Fire babies. Focusing on the focusing on the pinnacles. That eight pinnacles could definitely talk about that. Brilliant. Thank you. Here we go. Here we go. Sazzy Sag. Sagy Sag. Let's see what these fun tarot decks want to talk about. Sagy. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. All right, let's do it. Hello, Sagittarius. Rambling Mike here. I'm going to play some tarot with you, Sazzy Saz. Thanks for tuning in again. Appreciate it. Appreciate all your love and all your light. Thanks for all your likes as well. You know, if you've ever blessed me in any way, shape, or form, Sazzy, thank you so very much for it. Appreciate them all, large or small. Very kind of you. Sagi, I am playing with a fun tarot deck today. Uh, it's a white fly tarot. Somebody sent it to me a couple of years ago. 
sure if you want one you can find it online somewhere the white fly tarot it's gorgeous um and i will be playing with doreen's love cards first and foremost we'll draw some of doreen's love cards and we'll top it off you know with the 22 uh the tarot Illuminati. let's do it saggy sag saggy sag what's the cards we want to talk about i'm looking for love but you know these can be relationships they can be work Family, they can play out vice versa. We all know tarot around here. Let's do it. Saggy Sag. Saggy Sag. Give me a love card here for Saggy Sag. Here we go. First card out. What's going on? Separation. Well, some of you be like, yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, separation. Okay. Now, that can be a distance to, right? It can be just don't want to deal with somebody. This has got a separation card right there. Well, I kind of feel some of you may be at a distance from somebody, but some of you may have separated yourself from somebody as well. Give me a card right here, Saggy. Oh, you pulled a worth waiting for. Wow. The old divine timing card came out, Saggy. Maybe somebody at a distance from you. Oh, getting to know each other. This is a new energy right here, Saggy. Did you meet somebody? Maybe they had a little bit of a distance from you? You got the divine timing card. We got the express and the love. Wow. You guys already doing a little sweet talking on the telephone, maybe? What's this about? Nice. Sedgy. Positive stuff. All right. Let's see. Let's see what the white fly wants to talk about, huh? Sagittarius. We got separation. We got worth waiting for. So I don't think that's a go sit down separation. Maybe you got somebody at a little bit of a distance from you. Getting to know each other. See, there's some talking going on around here for whoever I'm resonating with. And maybe you guys are talking a little bit of sweet talk with Express the Love. Oh, it says go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Damn. All right. We might see a chariot show up here. Let's go. Let's go, Saji Saj. Saji Saj. Here we go. Let's cut the deck. Let's see what the tarot talking about. Sagittarius, love. Here we go. Oh, damn, Herophant came out. What? What? <laughs> hey, we're just talking over here. Hey, we're just talking over here. <laughs> oh, it does say, uh, as you reveal your innermost self to each other, your bond deepens. Oh, that's the old Pope of the tarot deck. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> hey. Okay, Sagittarius, where's this going right here? Ooh. Santa and the reindeer showing up called the Herophant. Lordy. Okay, got the keys of the kingdom on the neck. Okay, all right, let's have some fun. Lordy. Oh, we're just talking, source. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Here we card. Oh, nine cups. Wow. Nine cups, you know. Make a wish. Make a wish. Separation. Nine cups. See, I don't think this is the... Uh, it feels kind of somebody new. I got word waiting for. Got a little fairy fan in the heart. <laughs> See? Fan in the heart. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's two cups. Look into my eyes. I'm worth waiting for. Two cups. Yeah, you know, they may be at a distance right here. You may actually meet up. 
What fun, man. What fun. Give me a card right here. Sagittarius. Nine cups. Two cups. The Hierophant. <laughs> here we go. Man. Give me a card on this. Saggy Sag. What's going on? Strength. That's a, that's a Leo Major Arcana. Look at this old lion's got a big old blue heart. And uh, somebody's shooting the affinity symbol out of their little, their little vase gun right there. Shooting the infinity strength. Strength, because these people are probably at a distance from each other. Strength. Whoa, this is fun, man. Here we go. I got a nice love story here. Mm -hmm. See? I, as soon as I said I got a nice love story here, Venus showed up. The Empress. Taurus. Libra. Aries. There's love here, man. This is somebody that you just met. Looks really sweet. We got it's worth waiting for. Which means you probably got to get together here in the near future. Shooting little, shooting little infinity symbols back and forth to each other. Yeah, that's fun. It is, man. Wow, this is new, fresh, feels good. Definitely feels good, man. And, uh, <laughs> it is somebody at a distance. There's a queen of wands, male or female, Saji, right? Right? And two wands. See, I'm looking over the horizon right there. That's a distance card for me. Well, yeah, it's new. It's a pins. Really positive. Really positive. It really is, man. Okay. And these are past life lovers. Shoot, shooting infinities back and forth at each other. I like it for you. Let's pull a major out on this. Sagittarius. This looks new and fresh and exciting and feeling good. Got the Empress on it. Got nine cups, two cups. That's new energy. Getting to know each other. They'd have a hair fan show up. Had the hair fan show up. So we just talking. We just talking. <laughs> we just talking, Sars. Here we go. Give me a major on this for Saggy. Ooh, wow. Scorpio energy showed up on this. Hmm. It's about death and rebirth for Sagittarius. See, this feels new, man. Maybe, maybe there's Scorpio. Maybe I got Leo right here. Got Taurus. I got Libra. Oh, hold on. I was going to say, I got the Empress and the Hierophant. There's love here, man. This has potential, even though this is just beginning. But Tarot can, tarot can talk about it. And travel. There it is right there. Oh, my God. I was waiting for the chariot the whole time. Uh oh. The chariot. Wow. Here's the emperor and the empress. Interesting, huh? Something about a whole new world. Sagittarius, really nice. This resonated with you? Is this worth waiting for? Gonna be some travel coming in here soon. What is that? Cancer, Aries showed up. Scorpio. Love and light, Saggy. Love and light. All right, let's do it again. My fire baby's right here. My fire babies. Let's go. Leo. Leo babies. Leo. 
Leo. As <laughs> <laughs> all my Leos roaring. Hey, Linda, glad you're here tonight. All my friends. Hey, Yates. Well, wow. fun, fun little stories tonight coming out of these tarot decks. Let's do it again. Leo style. Lily. Hi, Lily. Thank you, too. Seven months, my friend. Wow, it just seemed like yesterday, Lily. Thank you very much, my friend. And uh, I do believe you got a you got a little something tonight. If you're just showing up, you definitely want to go watch the prizes. I think Lily grabbed something tonight. Here we go. All right. All right. Hey Sandra. Hello, my friend. Oh, okay. All right. You were here. Oh. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. Leo style. Leo style. What a fun deck, huh? With a white fly. All right. Hello, Leo. Rambling Mike here. Going to play some tarot. Well, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate your time, my Leo friends. That I do. That I do. I am going to be playing tarot with the uh, the white fly tarot. It's a fun tarot deck. Somebody sent it to me a couple of years ago. I'm sure if you're interested in one, you can find it on uh, the internet, I'm sure. It's very cool. And also, I'm going to be playing with Doreen's love cards and, uh, you know, the 22 majors, right? The Luminati. We're looking for love around here, but... Uh, these are relationship spreads that I'm doing, so they can talk about work or they can talk about family. But of course, I'm looking for love, you know. And we're going to start with Doreen's love cards first, like I have been for a while right here. And then we're going to pull out this fun deck on it. So let's do it. Thanks. Thanks, Leo. Here we go. Here we go. Leo time. Leo love team. What's the tarot I want to talk to my Leos about? Leo, Leo, Leo. Leo, Leo. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept help from others. Hmm. Well, that's an interesting card. My Leo babies, ain't it? Leo. You know. It says let people help you, Leo. <laughs> anyway, whatever that's about, Leo. It says let people help you. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Give me a card right here for Leo. Leo, love team. What do we got? Leo. Here we go. Unrequited love. Well, um, Unrequited love. There's not enough love or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Well, definitely not my favorite card. You got to let your friends help you. Let's see what else is going on around here. Maybe letting somebody go. Making room for new. I mean, these are the eclipses right here. That honeymoon came out. What? 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 I saw this with my eyes, and then it insisted on uh, coming out. So, yeah, this is like six swords. Hmm? I'm kind of hoping it's a new energy. We don't want to play with unrequited love. We got to let your friends help you. Then unrequited love came out. And then something about uh, honeymoon. Maybe out with the old honeymoon. Leo, enjoy the bliss of time together. 
Could be a new, could be new. Flirt. <laughs> could be new, Leo. Got a flirt card right here, Leo. Okay. Flirt, flirt, flirty, flirt, flirt, flirt. We ain't playing with unrequited love. Could have a new energy coming in here for you. Oh. And this is a forgiveness card right here, Theo. And this says your love life benefits as you forgive. So it may be somebody over here that didn't know how to love Leo, right? Letting that go. You may be moving in a new direction. Flirty, flirt, flirt, flirt. Got honeymoon. Oh, and getting to know each other. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you, Eclipse. <laughs> As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Row, row. Row, row, Leo. Wow. Uh, Leo be like, we were just flirting. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean, bond deepens? That's nice, though. Something spicy right here for my Leos. And something definitely was not over there. All right, let's play some tarot on this. Leo style. Leo style. Leo, Leo, what you got to say for my Leos right here? Moving from that old unrequited love to uh, getting to know each other, love. That's on the bottom of the deck, Leo. Queen of Cups. Ooh, love's in the house, man. What is that? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Somebody's swooning. Somebody's swooning over Leo these days. Hi, Leo. Male or female. Somebody's swooning. Look at him right here. Oh, Leo. Hey, oh, let the past be in the past. Hey, oh, Queen of Cups showed up around here with a big old smile. Holding that cup. Dear to their heart, Leo. Ooh, here we go. Here we go, Leo. All right, give me another card right here for Leo, babies, please. Two of Pentacles came out. Choices, choices, choices. I don't know. I hope you have made up your mind to... Two of Pentacles could be, you know, juggling decision, but we got unrequited love over here. And some forgiveness. Two Pentacles, though, um, can be, maybe it's new, it's flirty, it's just flirty over here. Should I stay and try and fix this unrequited love, or should I get in the boat and go see a new friend? <laughs> Mike's gonna, oh, oh, <laughs> yeah, Mike says, Mike says, go see a new friend. This is Hangman in this deck right here. Hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Yeah. Hey, coming out of the Hangman's tree. Coming out of Hangman's tree right there. I like that Hangman. Look, Mom, no hands. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Leo. Ooh, that's another, uh, that's a Pisces card. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Give me a card. Here we go. Oh, look at this gorgeous card. You know, getting to know each other. Look at this, man. This is Ten Pinnacles in the stack. Damn. Are you going to ride your bike up that trail? <laughs> Somebody's riding their bike up to that trail because I got a love story going on around here. I got a love story after, you know, being all tied up and something over here. Oh, Lordy, man. Yeah, who's that? You letting go of the juggler? What's that about, man? I'm gonna be riding your bicycle, possibly up a an amazing trail. Uh, Queen of Cups lives up there or something. Go, Leo. Go, Leo. Your card. One more. One more. This is this. This says honeymoon and flirt and getting to know each other and hangman coming out of the tree. Riding their bicycle, queen of love. Ooh. Nice, man. Well, there's your son. Hmm. 
This looks nice, Leo. Uh huh. We got, we got, we got, we got a castle, and there's, I don't know, there's babies, and it's Queen of Love, and look, Mom, no hands. <laughs> hey, and over here, whatever this is about over here, this is Five of Swordsy right there. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that's just the flat out narcissist energy right over there. So now I'm going to leave that out. Yeah, man, all those snakes on the ground. <laughs> Yuck, man. Get, get, get rid of it. It's like a juggler, a narcissist. What is this, man? Unrequited love. Let your friends help you. And forgiveness. Oh, I see it. So you can walk in this beautiful, beautiful energy right here. Get yourself unstuck. Get yourself on your bad motor scooter right here. Go on down this trail. Go on down this trail right here, Leo. Looks amazing to me, huh? Looks amazing to me. All right. Give me a major arcana for Leo, babies. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Justice came out. That's a Libra card. And uh, this talks about karmic balance. It talks about, you know, cutting these kind of characters out of your life. I want to keep you all entangled for, for, for their narcissistic feed. Somebody's losing their A1 feed around here, Leo. Yeah. Leo, Leo, Leo picking up the feed trough over here. Oh, oh, justice. Yes, yes. Here we go, man. And the Empress came out over here, Venus. Oh, wow, what a difference. Love and light, Leo. Mike says, hey, come out of the tree. Take a good long look at this right here. Venus, love and abundance. That's what this is about, ain't it? Love and abundance. It is a 10 pins. Love you, Leo. Talk within a couple of days. Let's do it again. Okay. Let's go. Where's my coins? There they are. Okay. That was fun. Let's go. Let's go. Here we go. <laughs> Who's this? Air babies. Let's see what they're up to, huh? Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Let's, let's see. Let's see what my swords babies are about these days. In regards to love. <laughs> oh, I'm having fun. Hope you are too, huh? Having fun. Air babies. Let's go. Let's go, man. Fun deck. Fun deck tonight. There's my air babies. There they are. Chris Libra Gemini. Let's go. Aquarius Libra Gemini. Here we go. Here we go. Gemma Jam. Gemma Jam. My Geminis. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Jimmy Jam. Okay. All right. I'm having fun with this deck. 
Always have the white fly. Let's go back. All right. Hello, Gemini. Rambling Mike here. Gonna play some tarot. Thanks for tuning in one more time. Appreciate your time and your views. All your love, your light, my Gemini friends. Thanks for your likes. Always want to say thank you for your many, many gifts. Jimmy Jim, if you've ever blessed me, thank you so very, very much. I am playing with a fun deck. It is the White Fly Tarot. Somebody gave this to me a couple of years ago now. Um, I'm sure you can find one on the internet if you look. White Fly Tarot. We'll be playing with that tonight. And Doreen's Love Cards. We will start our spread with Doreen's Love Cards. And uh, the 22 Majors from the Illuminati. You know how we do it. I'm looking for love. But, you know, these are relationship spreads. So they can definitely do with work or family. Or they can play out vice versa. We all know tarot. But, you know, I am... Looking for love. That all being said, tarot time, Gemini style. Here we go, Jimmy Jam. Jimmy Jam, give me some from the love cards. First card out, Gemini. Express your love. Go ahead and make a romantic gesture. Oh, yeah, we're just right out of the box. Hi, my name's Gemini. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, look into my eyes. What's going on here, Gemini? Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Okay, here we go. Somebody's busting a move in this story. Already, straight out, Gemini. Look into my eyes. <laughs> here we go, Gemini. Wow, this could be the one. Hey, hey, you may have already met the romantic partner that you seek. Oh. Oh, somebody, somebody hasn't been telling it. Somebody hasn't been talking over here. Somebody, <laughs> make the effort. Hey, hey, somebody hasn't been talking over here. Somebody's about to. Make the effort. Great loves. We're taking the steps you're guided to take. May wonder. I wonder if it's talking about me. Chemistry's here, you know. That can be a little bit of burning of the loins right around in there. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Oh, damn. We're looking at a star. Strong magnetic attraction around here. Gemini. Uh oh. But then we got to keep an open mind because your soulmate may be different than your usual type. Mm, wow. Oh, huh. <laughs> so let me see right here. We got express the love. Go ahead and make a romantic gesture. You may have already met the romantic partner that you seek. Great loves are taking the steps you're guided to take as a strong magnetic attraction here and... Your soulmate may differ from your usual type. Oh, that old type thing. Okay. Let's see what the tarot says right here. Somebody needs a bust a move around here. The Gemini I'm talking about. <laughs> hey, hey, here we go. What's the tarot want to talk about? <laughs> What's the tarot want to talk about? Ooh, ooh, a different type. Okay. All right, all right, Jimmy Jam, here we go. Let's cut this deck, play some tarot, Jimmy Jam. Jimmy Jam, you might not be a different type or, or somebody ain't your type, but we got some loins burning around. I got a fool. I got a fool right there. Uh, little Pied Piper is playing the, playing the pipe right there, Jim. And I, this is uh, Aquarius Aries. It's a major arcana, you know, about a fresh start, a new beginning. <laughs> Movement, there's a chariot, two major arcanas, Cancer, Aquarius, Aries have showed up on your spread. Somebody's about to bust a move around here. It's been in this, it's been, been showing up in Gemini's read for a minute. Or they're about to uh, take a trip. 
to go see a soulmate. This is soulmate right here. Yeah, six cups when I said that. Soulmate. Past life lover, possibly. Hmm. Nice cards, man. They are. Yeah, who is this? Is this is this who is this, man? This is eight swords. Look at this eight swords right here. Now, eight swords is generally about being stuck in the mind. Maybe about a certain type of lover. Somebody's getting free from that eight swords. You can see them right there. I can see them. They're busting free from those eight swords. They're busting free from them eight swords, Gemini. Six of cups be a calling. Six of cups. See? This is a sweet six of cups energy. Whoever I'm reading for around here. These are past life lovers. They just look different this time. That's all. That's all. This is a sweet love story. Well, let's see. <laughs> yeah, they just look different. They just, <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. I don't know if I want to show you. Yeah, I'm going to show you. It may just look different right here. <laughs> that's that's uh, nine wands. Uh, that's a wounded warrior. Oh, 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 oh damn, man. Uh, yeah. Look at this. What a fun story, man. What a fun story. I think they just look a little different, but they've got a soulmate energy here. Um, they look a little rough around the edges. <laughs> they look a little rough around the edges, but the cards say they're sweet. See? That's six pinnacles. Inside, they look ooey gooey, soft and chewy. Full of agape love. Oh, look at the star right here. What am I channeling right here? Yeah, woosa. They look a little rough and gruff on the outside. I don't know. Somebody's having a breakthrough about their usual type. Uh, a, and they may be a little bit of a distance from you. Maybe taking a trip here to go see the soulmate. Well, it's different than your usual type. Yeah, definitely, man. The high priestess. She's the one that leads us and guides us. She woos us. She woos us. Look at the star. Look at the high priestess looking at the star and the six pinnacles right here. Like equal give and take. Oh, wouldn't that be nice to have a lover with equal give and take? Wow. What is this, Gemini? I see it. It's very nice. I just think that may not be the different type or the usual type. I think they're a little rougher on the edges, male or female. <laughs> I'm having fun with this deck, man. Because cause look, man, a little centaur playing the violin around four wands. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> yeah, a little rough around the edges, huh? You know, do what's best for you. Do what's best for you. Fun spread. Fun spread. About the different type. But ooey gooey, soft and chewy on the inside. Mm -hmm. Keep an open mind. This could be the one. Chemistry. Yeah, you know who this is. If, if you're still here, connected with this video right now. It's the high priestess to the star. To this beautiful, beautiful six pins. And there's four wands right here, too. Just saying, right? All right, Jimmy Jim, give me a major on this. Give me a major on this. Go take a look or forever hold your peace. <laughs> Stay with a normal type. Oh, God, do we have to? <laughs> Here we go, man. Here we go, man. <laughs> All right, man. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, the death card, Scorpio energy came out on this. Death and rebirth. Death and rebirth. You letting something go? You letting somebody go? Letting somebody go? Oh, you chariot, man. Again, we got lots of movement going on around here, don't we? Lots of movement. We got a death and rebirth card. That is a Scorpio card. 
And we got some forward movement with the cancer. Second time that uh, that cancer, that chariot major Kona has showed up. So safe travels if you're going to go visit your friend. And uh, love and light with the uh, butterfly journey. Death and rebirth. If you let somebody go. I enjoyed reading for you, Gemini. Talk with you in a couple days. Fun spread. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. I like it. It's all fresh. It's all really fresh energy tonight. Fun, lighthearted. Either resonating or it ain't. Thanks for playing with me, hanging around either way. Let's do it. Let's do it. More my air babies right here. Here we go. Here we go. First card out. Oh, Aquarius is up. Let's see what my Aquarians are up to these days. With this beautiful, beautiful white fly. I like it, man. I like it. It's got, it's just, I don't know. It's fun. Let's go. Let's go. Aquarius, babies. Aquarius, let's get some of this lighthearted deck right here and see what it says for Aquarius. Sun, moon, rise, and Venus. Aquarius. Aquarius. Aquarius, babies. Oh, the fool. Wow. It's about something new. Just like Gemini's is something new. Oh, let's go. Aquarius, your fool came out. Let's do it. Hello, Aquarius. Rambling Mike here. Going to play a little tarot with you today. Thanks for tuning in one more time, Aquarius. Appreciate your time, all your love, all your likes. All your likes. Many, many gifts over the years, Aquarius, if you've ever blessed me with any gift. Thank you so very much, Aquarius. Appreciate them all, large or small, my friends. Playing with a fun tarot deck today, Aquarius. Uh, uh, it's been a couple of years now. Somebody, somebody sent me the white fly tarot. Um, I'm sure that if you're interested in one, you can Google it online. So white fly tarot. We're going to be playing with that. It's fun deck, lighthearted. And we're going to start with Doreen's love cards. And we're going to top it off, you know, with the 22, my faves. My 22 faves, the Illuminatis. Let's do it. Aquarius, I am looking for love. Now, these are relationship spreads, so they could talk about work or family. But, you know. I am looking for love. A reminder, they can play out vice versa. All right. That all being said, it's tarot time. Aquarius, babies. What is going on with my Aquarius? Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Here we go. First card out. Past life relationship. Well, could have been somebody you know before. Like a long time before. Oh, what's going on around here? Aquarius, damn. It's a nice picture. I mean, you know. Hi. Oh, oh, oh darling. <laughs> darling. <laughs> ah, Aquarius, past life relationship. They have known each other before. Give me that kind of energy if you just met somebody, you... Feel like you've been knowing them forever and a day. Well, you may have. You just may have. Here we go. Aquarius. What's going on around here? Aquarius. Trust. <laughs> yeah. Trust coming out after Saturn being in your 
in your first house for three years. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we are we already we already up to the trust thing, Aquarius. Uh, the situation's calling for you to have faith. That's interesting, Aquarius. I don't know, man. Somebody looks pretty googly in these pictures. Yes, they do, man. You both look a little googly, if you ask me. Already, already, already weighing on Aquarius trust issues. <laughs> Aquarius, Aquarius, here we go. Let's get in the flow here, man. Let's get some love coming in your world. Give me a card right here. Yeah, see all that unrequited love. I swear, I just what I was talking about is that Saturn energy. Uh, but Saturn's out of your first house anymore, Aquarius. It's gone away, man. It's gone away. It's gone away. You got trust because unrequited love. Oh, I see it. Give me a card right here. Who is that right there? Thank you. Thank you. Queen six. There you are right there. Hello, Queen Six. Got you on my list. This will be for Friday night, my friend. Okay. Thursday's already booked. Thank you for smashing that butt one more time, Queen Six. All right. Aquarius, what is going on around here? We got look, flirt. Flirt, Aquarius, and getting to know each other. Oh, what is this? Because safe place to love oh Aquarius you got some healing love coming in here can I say that I certainly can I certainly can it says to give it a chance because you deserve love well, this is giving a direct message to an Aquarian maybe a lot of you you deserve love Aquarius Oh, it's, it's a soulmate, man. It's a past life lover, Aquarius, coming in here to help you heal. Help you heal, Aquarius. Does say safe place to love, give it a chance. It's because of all this damn unrequited love, probably for God knows how long, man. It says enjoy it, Aquarius. It says flirt. Get to know each other as your bond. As you reveal your innermost self to each other, your bond deepens. Aquarius, these are nice. Okay, let's play some tarot on it. We pulled half of the love deck out right there. Aquarius, these are nice. These are nice. Happy for you, Aquarius. Got an old soulmate wants to come in here and help you heal. It's beautiful, my friends. Here we go. Give me some tarot on this for Aquarius. Let's cut this deck. It's tarot time. Aquarius. Wow. Ain't that a beautiful card, Aquarius? It's 10 cups. That's a beautiful card right there, Aquarius. You got a soulmate coming in. I want to help you heal. Oh, oh man. Source is good, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, six cups. A six of copper, man. Past life lover coming in here to love on my Aquarians. Hey, these are real positive. Cards and love spread, Aquarius. About a soulmate. May have just showed up in your world. If they haven't, they're going to. Chariot. Hmm. Well, may live at a distance. Another major arcana. This is Cancer. This is Leo. Look at them shooting their, their infinity symbol at you, Aquarius. And the, the, the lion's got a big blue heart. Strength. Aquarius. Wow, you got love, man. Don't be all worry worrying about it. <laughs> yeah, look at this, man. 
Let's go ahead. Look at the six wands. Break on through the other side, Aquarius. Break on through the other side, Aquarius. Yeah, somebody, somebody wants to give you attention. Somebody wants to give you their attention, Aquarius. It's really nice, man. This is so nice. This thread for Aquarius. It's so nice. Yeah. I can see the story, right? There's the entanglement of the two pinnacles, the unrequited love energy that's on this spread. Here's my wounded warrior. So ready. So ready, Aquarius. And look at this beautiful, beautiful world card right here. It's about an old cycle ending and a new cycle beginning. And look, here, here it. <laughs> oh, man, fun, man. It may be an age difference. I don't know, but. It's a it's a it's a knight of cups and a queen. This is a love story right here. This is a love story, Aquarius. Heal your heart. This is a new world opening up here for you. Break on through to the other side, Aquarius. Yeah, this is a soulmate coming in here, shooting no soulmate love at you. Look at that picture right there. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. All right. Give me a major here for my Aquarians, Aquarius, Aquarius babies. Oh, damn, the emperor showed up. That's about stability. It's also masculine energy. Aries. And a Scorpio card again about death and rebirth. Love and light, Aquarius. Love and light. Hope you enjoyed that spread. Love and light, Aquarius. It's a whole new world coming in here for you. Let's see, looks gorgeous. Enjoy the journey. Enjoy the journey, Aquarius. You deserve love. That was beautiful, man. Thank you, Source. All right. Libra babies. My Libras. My Libra babies. There they are. There they are. My Libras, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Thank you, MS. Hey, may all your guys' dreams come true. Uh, Dong Fang, I did do your reading tonight. Um, I haven't had an opportunity to time stamp it, though. That'll be the first thing I do after this right here. If one of my members wants to time stamp this for me tonight, that would be amazing. The first thing I'm going to do after this is uh, timestamp uh, the personal readings that I did um, earlier today. I, I took a nap. I actually fell out. <laughs> well, no nap. I think it was more unconscious. <laughs> but I will timestamp that. I know it's long overdue, um, but it was time to get up and play with the nation. Okay, I'll get to it. I get to it. You had a nice read, don't you? Think? And again, if one of my members wants to timestamp this in the comments, that would be wonderful. Let's go, Libra babies. Libra, Libra babies, Libra, Libra, my lovely Libras, Libra, lovely Libras, Libra. Oh. Putting something down? Putting something down? You missing somebody? You miss somebody? 
ending something? Whoa. Okay, all right, Libra. Libra, let's see what let's see what it comes out. Let's see what comes out around here. The old eclipse. Old eclipse. Let's go. Hello, Libra. Rambler Mike here. Gonna play a little tarot with you, my friends. Thanks for tuning in one more time. Appreciate all your love, all your light. That I do, my Libra friends. Thanks for your likes. I always want to say thank you for your many gifts over the years. You've always been so kind to me, Libra. I appreciate you. If you've ever blessed me in any way, shape, or form, thank you, Libra. Appreciate you. I am playing with a fun deck tonight. It's nice and lighthearted. It's called the White Fly Tarot. Um, uh, somebody sent it to me a couple of years ago now, I, I think. Um, if you're interested in one, you can probably find it online, right? It's a White Fly Tarot. It's super fun. I wanted to promote it because it's just such a fun deck. I wanted to play with it again tonight. I will be starting the readings off with love cards on huh, Libra. Doreen's love cards, and I will top off the reading with my 22 faves, the Illuminatis. These are, of course, I'm looking for love, but they are relationship spreads so they can deal with work or family. They can play out vice versa as well. But I'm looking for love, and let's do it. Let's do it. Libra, babies, Libra. Looking for some love around here, Libra style. Here we go. First card out. Staying optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Ooh, we got ro romance in the air. Staying optimistic. I, when I was digging through there, man, I saw some heavy cards. <laughs> I saw some heavy cards. I saw death, ten wands. You know, uh, the devil. Staying optimistic about your love life. Here we go. Libra babies. Libra babies. Libra babies. Give me a card. What do we got right? Oh, Dio. Stay optimistic. And you pull true love. This card doesn't, this is sticking around with Libra for a minute. Go check some of my old, not even that old, just a couple of Libra readings back here for a while. This card, huh? True love. And showing up around here in your spreads. Stay optimistic. True love is on your board, man. This is the romance of a lifetime, it says. Hot damn, Libra. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, Libra babies. Here we go. One more. Libra. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others or to somebody new because I didn't like what I saw in there. We're gonna, we're gonna, we are going to play with the white fly right here on Stay Optimistic, True Love, and Flirt, Libra. Flirt. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right. Tarot time, Libra babies. Tarot time, Libra babies. What we got right here? Let's cut the deck. Play some Tarot Libra style. Here we go. Cutting it. What we got? What's going on? An Ace of Swords. An Ace of Swords. Looks like your badass lightsaber in your hand right there. It's about epiphanies, enlightenment, uh, awakening. It's a sharp sword. It cuts chains that bind. It represents a new beginning. It is your sword. An ace of swords showed up here for my Libra babies. That's about new. New, 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 new. Let's go. Libra. Libra. Cutting things out, staying optimistic. Oh, this is talking about a past life lover. Maybe you know him, maybe you don't. Six of Cups showed up here on your little true love card, my friend. People got a past life lover coming in here. Ooh, 
<laughs> Staying optimistic. Cutting things out of your life that no longer serve you for your highest good. Flirting. Flirting. It's really nice. It's really positive. Yeah, there's a ten swords here. Libra, I love you. I love you, Libra. You got you got yeah, you, you got sweet energy coming in here for you, Libra. That's a card of um ending a very painful cycle with the promise of a new day to dawn. This is the sun in Gemini. You went to full course over there, didn't you? Lord have mercy. But whatever's coming in has four wands. It's four wands. Get to flirting. This is a past life lover, man. Four wands. Uh, you know, that's home and hearth. And I don't know, man. I, I like your cards. I do. I, I'm feeling you right over here. I'm feeling you. Get your healing. Get your healing. I don't know. That journey's over. Whatever that was about, man, that is over. True love. Six cups. Flirt. Some of four wands over here. Kind of a centaur looking. <laughs> here we go, man. Ooh la la. Half animal, half human. Damn, Libra. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. Let's go. Man. Let's go. Give me a card on this for Libra, please. What do we got? True love story here. A little flirting first, huh? Oh, Queen of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Look at, look at, look at what's coming in here for you. I mean, this can talk about long-term committed relationship stuff, right? Four Wands, Queen of Pentacles, right? True Love, Six Cups. Wow, who's ever coming in here for you? It could be long-term. It could be, how do we say, the one? Yeah, maybe, huh? It's a world card. Definitely ended a cycle right here. So a new cycle coming in. These are really positive. Oh, and here's the lover right there. Hi, Libra. Hi, Libra. Yeah. Chariot. Huh? The Knight of Cups. Hearts going boom, da da boom, da da boom, boom, boom. Got a nice smile on their face. Huh? Chariot. You got somebody who wants to play for serious coming in here, Libra. Past life lover, man. Mm, this this chariot has been coming out all night. And sometimes I can talk about maybe somebody a little bit of a distance from you. But I think they want to play for real, man. You know, four wands, a queen of pentacles energy, right? This night... Somebody got their heart going boom, 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 boom. And uh, this is this is movement. Chariot. Really positive cards, man. I think. I think Libra. Gonna be going off the charts here soon. Man. <laughs> off the market. Yeah, if you know Libra, you better grab one up here quick. Okay. You better grab your Libra up quick. Because they ain't playing around no more. It's a new world energy coming in here for you. You may not have met this person yet. True love, flirt, six cups, chariot with the knight of cups to the uh, four of wands, queen of pinnacles energy. That is long-term energy right there. It's quite beautiful, my Libra friends, after this very painful journey. Very painful. Use that ace of swords. Cut yourself free. The worst is over. Looks like a new day dawning. Give me a major arcana on here for Libra. 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 Oh, tower. It's about sudden change. Yeah, it's a new world, man. Yeah, if the roof's on fire, Libra's letting that mother humper burn over there. Phoenix from its ashes, judgment, Scorpio energy to the lovers. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah, 
your empress card. Ooh, I told you, man. Ooh, your justice card. Really nice stuff, man. Really nice. If the roof's on fire, let that mother humper burn. This cycle is over. And a new cycle is coming in here for you. Somebody's going to pursue you, man. Uh-huh. Uh, don't run. <laughs> don't run. You go ahead and see what they have to offer up here. It looks nice. Four of Wands. Queen of, Queen of Pentacles energy. True love on this, Libra. True love. Love you, Libra. Talk with you in a couple of days. Love and light, my friend. I like the looks of your new friend. Looks like they got some healing mojo in them for you. This is beautiful, man. I like past life lovers coming in here to heal up all my friends, man. All right. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Sarah. Thank you, Sarah. So very kind of you, my friend. Appreciate you. Appreciate your gift. Very nice, Sarah. Thank you again. Thank you again, Sarah. You're so sweet. Appreciate you. All right. Thank you, Sarah. I saw you right there, my friend. I saw you. Thank you. All right. I'm going to do a two and two. And then we got Earth Babies and Water Babies. Okay, two and two.
All right, all right, all right. Smoke them if you got them. Smoke them because you got them. All right. Thank you, everybody. That was feel good with a little break. All right, let's do it again. We got earth and we got water. Earth and water. <laughs> Here we go. Earth and water. Earth and water. Got some earth shouts right here, huh? Here we go. Who is it? It's earth. Yeah. Yeah. Let me get your coin the right way. I do believe it goes like that. My earth babies. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. It's tarot time. It's tarot time. Send in the goats. Send in the goats. My earth angels. There they are right there. There they are right there. Lovely. Lovely. All right. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Let's see what these old eclipse readings are talking about. Change so far, huh? Let's go. Let's go, my earth babies. Oh, bad times or tarot? I don't know. I don't know. They seem to be nice cards to me. All of them have been about potential for positive change. I mean, who ain't looking for positive change? Let the heavenlies help us. Give me a card. Who's up? Taurus. Taurus. Taurus, my bulls. Let's go. Let's go. That's all I'm doing around here is just having some fun. You know what's going on in your world. Oh, damn. I guess we are playing with Taurus. There's your major arcana right there. The Hierophant. Oh. That's about great wisdom and spirituality. Looked like that, uh, that elk may have had their eye on something or somebody. Anyway, let's have some fun. Taurus time. Let's go. Hello, Taurus. Rambling Mike here. Going to play a little tarot with you. Thanks for tuning in again, Taurus. Appreciate your time, all your love, all your light. Thank you for your likes. And Taurus, thank you for your many, many gifts over the years. You know, I appreciate them. If you've ever blessed me in any way, shape, or form, Taurus, thank you so very, very much. Appreciate it all. Taurus, I am playing with a very fun, lighthearted deck tonight. It is the White Fly Tarot. Somebody gave it to me a couple years ago. I think it's an amazing deck. If you're interested in it, I'm sure that you can Google and get some kind of information to get your hands on one of these little gems. I am going to be playing, as usual, anymore, with laying the base with Doreen's Love Cards, and we're going to throw out the white fly on it. And a couple of my... You know, my 22 faves, huh? the Illuminati majors. Let's do it. I am looking for love, hmm? but these are relationship spreads, so they can talk about work. They can talk about family. huh? They can play out vice versa. You guys know tarot. But I'm looking for love. That being said, Taurus babies, Taurus babies, let's go. Let's go, Taurus, Taurus. Honeymoon came out. Ooh la la. Enjoy the bliss of time together. Well, that's a nice way to start a love reading. Well, a little, little angel in a boat. Hmm. Maybe somebody's... Coming to see you. I don't know. Maybe you're going to hang out. Good 
This is a new love card. <laughs> this is a new love. Mike's favorite card. It's a new love right here. Showed up. Honeymoon, new love. You may be in a honeymoon phase right now. One could only hope. One could only hope it stays that way if it is a honeymoon phase, huh? A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Enjoy the bliss of time together. Ooh la la. Taurus. Oh, damn. Ooh, ooh, ooh la la. <laughs> oh, damn. Look into my eyes. Hey, oh. oh. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy, playfulness, to recapture romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. These are these are nice cards. I don't think we've got cards like this for a minute for my Taurus babies. Honeymoon, new love, passion, playfulness. Enjoy the bliss of time together. New person has stirred your romantic feelings. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy and to recapture romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Wow, Taurus. Yeah, you, my empress. Venus showing up around here. Okay, let's do it. Let's throw some tarot on this. Although it already looks pretty spicy. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. Let's go. One more shuffle, and we're going to cut it. One more shuffle, we're going to cut it. Taurus. Let's go. Tarot time. Let's see what the tarot wants to talk about. Those love cards were sweet. King of Swords. Damn. Who's that? Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Male or female. That's a king. I like all the kings. Entrepreneur energy. Got it going on. Hmm. I don't know. King of Swords. They're brilliant. They smart. They smart as a smart as a whip. May seem a little cold and detached. But you know, I'm gonna tell you they ooey gooey, soft and chewy. Anyway, you got an air energy showing up around here. And this is eight wands. This is like Cupid's arrows of love. It's like the love dragon or something flying around here. In your story, Taurus, Cupid's arrows of love. Wow. Hey, your cards are really nice, man. See, because here's the Queen of Wands. So that's the Queen of Passion. We got we got air and fire, so I don't know where that's in your guys' charts, but air and fire, that's the king and the queen right here. And then we got, you know, we got the love dragon flying around with eight wands. Um, and the air and fire, I mean, they blend nice. Cupid's arrows of love, playfulness, two grown ups playing. This looks nice, man. Wow. If this is resonating with you, this may have some potential right here. It may have some potential right here. Look at this. This is Seven of Pentacles in this deck, right? That's the old Divine Timing card, Taurus, and the Golden Stairway. Leads up to a key up there. Oh, wow. That hair fan jumped out with all those keys around their neck, huh? And, uh, well, if that's not enough, there's a sun. There's a sun. Oh, damn. <laughs> hey, man, I mean, you can read tarot, right? <laughs> oh, Lordy. Oh, there's a key up there, man. There's a key up there in the golden stairwell, you know. That's a money tree. <laughs> Divine timing, harvest time card right there. Hey, Taurus, these are nice, man. These are nice, man. The sun, the king and a queen, the love dragon flying around. Let's go, Taurus. A couple more, huh? Why not? It's a nice, it's a nice story right here. It's definitely a nice story. 
Uh, I just saw somebody else. Somebody else may not think this is a real nice story. <laughs> somebody else may not think it's a real nice story, but but I do. It's none of their business. This says new love right here, so somebody may not be all that excited. Oh, look at it, man. Two cubs is a new love story right here. Yeah, I saw somebody's not all excited about this new love card showing up here for Taurus. Oh, well, you snooze, you lose. Snooze, you lose. Ooh, because look, man, that's six ones. That's like breakthrough, ain't it? You know, it's about receiving attention that you're worthy of. Wow, look at you two, man. Look at you two breaking through, man. Breaking through the other side. Wow, I don't I don't I don't think you guys give a rat's tail what anybody thinks about this right here. What's that then? Let's go. What is that? Um yeah, very much so. This is three wands shot out right there. And eight wands, three wands. Hmm. Again, I mean, there could be a little bit of a distance right here, but three wands is about seeing your ships come in. Look at these cards. This is so nice, man. This is an ace, an ace of cups, an ace of cups for my Taurus babies. Ace, two, two of cups, six wands, breakthrough. Both of you guys giving attention to each other. There's probably some people that don't like it. All that crap. Doesn't matter, man. Go get your love. Yeah, somebody's upset. I got to show it to you. Somebody's pissed. They got left out in the cold in this story. That's all I'm going to talk about them because this is a beautiful, beautiful story right here with another ace for my Taurus. An ace of pinnacles and an ace of cups. And, well, there's some people that aren't, well, pleased with all of that. Sucks to be them. Give me the card right here. Taurus. Taurus. Taurus, babies. Taurus. The devil. This grumpy bastard. Singing the blues. Singing the blues, man. The devil's singing the blues over here. That's all I know, man. <laughs> there they are right here, too, man. This is devil, man. This is a toxic, this is a toxic bastard right here, man. Good riddance. Good riddance, Taurus. <laughs> Regardless of what happens over here. Look at this. Justice. Oh, man. Justice right here. I'll put that right there on the devil, man. Just because I can. Oh, another ace. Three aces here, man. Let's put that sword right there, too. That's the swords in that justice hand. Ooh, la, la, man. And if there is a distance, I don't know. There's a chariot full of movement right there. All right. All right, man. Nice cards for a Taurus, whoever that resonated with. This is nice. The king of swords, the queen of wands, that's air and fire. It's a nice. And then there's the sun over here. It's got a little, I don't know, got a little spooky baby or something. <laughs> hey, hey, Taurus. Taurus, give me a card. Taurus. Well, the high priestess came out, and she would be the one that leads us and guides us. It's kind of Ace of Cups, Two of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. And, uh, well, she's Persephone's, too. She's been through hell. She's been through hell over here, male or female, coming out on the other side. There's the sun. What a nice story. All about a fresh start, a new beginning. There's a star for you, man. The star, Taurus. 
and the wheel of fortune, the wheel of destiny. I'm gonna pull some cards for you in a couple of days, Taurus. This looks gorgeous, darling. Love and light. Talk with you in a couple of days. All right. I am liking the way this deck is talking tonight. Hope you are too. Capricorn, Virgo. Capricorn, Virgo. Capricorn, Virgo. Hey, just two. Valkyrie, hello, my friend. Here we go. Virgo delicious. Let's do it. Virgo. Let's play some cards with Virgo babies. Virgo babies. Hey, hey, hey. Virgo, let's shake them up around here. Let's shake them up around here. Virgo style. Silent Storm. Hello, my friend. Virgo babies. Virgo babies. Let's do it. Tarot time. Hello, Virgo. Rambling Mike here. Gonna play some tarot with you. Thanks for tuning in. Virgo delicious. Appreciate you so very, very much. Uh, appreciate all your. All your likes, all your love, all your light, my Virgo friends, over the years. I just want to say thank you for your many gifts. If you've ever blessed me, thank you so very much, my Virgo friends. Going to place in the tarot. i got a fun deck here. It is the White Fly Tarot this time around. One of my friends gave me this uh, a couple of years ago now, I think. It's lighthearted. I like it. It's been giving fun reads tonight. If you're interested in one, I'm pretty sure you can find one online. The White Fly Tarot. And uh, I'm going to be doing it as usual with Doreen's Love Cards. huh? Throw a base out with Doreen's Love Cards, and we're going to top it off with my fave 22, the Illuminati Majors. You know, I'm looking for love around here, huh, Virgo? But these are relationship spreads, so they can have to do with work. They can have to do with family members. huh? Um, they can play out vice versa. We all know Tara. Anyway, I'm looking for love. Let's do it. That being said, Virgos, Virgo babies. First card out of the love deck. What we got? Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. And somebody's about to bust a move around here. Look into my eyes. <laughs> Pucker up. <laughs> oh, express your love. Go ahead and make a romantic gesture. Wow, this card just doesn't want to go away tonight. What's this new love get going on around here? Thank you, Eclipses. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you Eclipses. This is a new love card here. New new hearts going boom, da da boom, da da boom, 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 maybe, huh? A new person stirred your romantic feelings. Oh. That's not nice. oh, soulmate energy. That could be nice. Yeah. Yeah. Romantic feelings. What's going on around here, Virgo? Looks pretty hot and spicy already. Oh, new love. A lot of kissy face going on in these pictures. Oh, Virgo. Oh, damn. Hi. Romantic feelings, soulmate energy, new love. Oh, 
Okay. Happy days, Virgo. Hope this is resonating with you. <laughs> hey, hey. Feels uh, feels exciting to me. Yeah. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Give me a card right here. Let's cut this deck. Let's cut this deck. See what it has to say for Virgo. What's a white fly talking about? Seven of Swords. What's all that shit? Jeez, somebody was playing with some candles over there at one time. You know. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Seven of Swords. Uh, that's uh, underhanded energy at one time. And look at this card right here. You know, it looks pretty dark. Did you break free from all that? Did you break free from all that? Because this is new right over here. That's like love bomb number five being whipped up on Virgo for a minute, maybe. Yeah. I want I want more on this, please. Because this says this is new. Romantic feelings. Very interesting. Give me a card right here. Virgo, you stop me. You just stop me right there. That is the moon in Aquarius. But I do think that you broke you broke free right here. See, look at this eight pinnacles right there. There's a phoenix, phoenix from his ashes. Hmm? This looks like a new path right here. New path. Looks like you broke free from whatever this was. Who's this? Is this somebody in the past? This dark magic has been in Virgo's reading for a minute. Looks like you busted it, man. Looks like you busted it. That looks like a pretty victorious card. That is a Virgo card. Um, I think that, that is the sun in Virgo, isn't it? I believe that is, man. That's the sun in Virgo. I see breakthrough here, man. What do we got? Three wands, yeah. These are like new ships. This is a new ship. This is, again, new love coming in. New love coming in around here all night long. Again, that is the sun in Aries. Got a lot of sun cards showing up around here. That you do, Virgo. New soulmate energy, romantic feelings, expressing the love. It says you broke a bunch of dark magic off of you. Since I said that, look at that, man. That's temperance came out. Looks like all those electrons have been broken off of you. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, here we go, man. Uh, that's temperance right there. I swear, man, something's been disconnected around here that was holding. Holding on, ain't holding on no more, man. We got movement right here. Two sun cards. Sun in Virgo, sun in Aries. Eight pins, three wands. Soulmate, new love energy showing up around here. Okay. Wow. This is uh, your major arcana, Virgo. Damn it. Well, it looks like you are taking your heart back. Taking your heart back. All my love with you, Virgo. Who? Let me just hold these pictures up. That you know, the same for everybody. But you be breaking free, man. You be taking your heart back. 
Lord, have mercy. And you be taking it to a new world. Yeah, there we go. Let's shake them out. Let's do some spirits of surgery around here. This is three swords. Time for my bird to fly. Are you with me, Virgo? Here we go. Out, out, out. Out of Virgo's heart. Out of Virgo's spread. Out of Virgo's life. Eight cups. We got to go. Hasta la vista. Sayonara. And knock. Oh, tower. Damn. Yes. Tower. And a fresh start and a new beginning. The Fool card. Beautiful. And look at this beautiful, beautiful energy right here. This is the Queen of Love. The, look at how that the healing. Can we just put that in with this story? The heart being healed, renewed. So this is an empath right here. This is a story of an empath that was under attack. It didn't work. It backfired. It blew up. See? It's right there, man. That's a moon card. It backfired. It blew up. That's a hangman. Didn't work. Entanglement to pinnacle. I see it right here. It's a moon. It's a moon. Look, new beginning for you. Three pins right here. Oh, look, man. Busting free. Eight swords. Yay. Yay, man. Coming up and coming out. It's a new beginning right here. Building. Building. Potential. We've got threes and eights, and we've got the Wheel of Fortune. Change for the better. Wow. Wow, Virgo. Freedom. 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 Beautiful, beautiful. Freedom. Freedom from all of that right there. If God be for you, who can be against you, Virgo? Love and light. You got a beautiful love story opening up down here for you. Healing of your heart. Anyway, we got a soulmate. We got new love, romantic feelings. Somebody wants to actually express their love to you. With two sun cards here. The sun in Virgo, eight pins. The sun in Aries, three wands. The fool card, uh, Aquarius, Aries, a fresh start, a new beginning in love. Wheel of Fortune. Love it for you. Let's go. Let's go, man. Let's go, man. Wow, you pulled the world card for whoever I'm reading for. That cycle is done. And I want you seeing yourself as this golden angelic being. Seeing the world as your oyster. And I'm going to point right at it. This talks about some destined love coming in here for you, my friend. Wow. Give me one more for Virgo. I've seen it. There's a high priest. <laughs> There's a high priestess. What a journey. What a journey, but. Turned you into the high priestess, male or female. Ain't nobody going to be able to do Yeah, I mean, it's like an earth angel. I mean, this kind of crap don't work on earth angels. They just don't. It only makes them like that. Anyway, I love you. <laughs> I love you, Virgo. I love you. There's a rebirth card here for you. Phoenix from its ashes for you. For you. Oh, there's a lover. There's a lover coming in here for you. I will pull you a couple. Oh, my God. And justice. Look at this. And justice on this freaking devil. Yeah. Anyway. Love and light, Virgo. I'll talk with you in a couple days, man. What a powerful reading. 
What a powerful reading, my high priestess. Powerful, powerful, powerful. You cannot curse that which has been blessed. All right. I love you guys. Powerful, man. Okay. Let's play some more tarot. Ooh, that one got real. Ooh, love the eclipse. Love the eclipse. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Cappy cap. Cappy cap. Caparoo. Cap cap. <laughs> Capricorn. Whoo, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna light a couple incense here. <laughs> yes, I am, man. Cannot curse the blessed with the gods have blessed. Oh, you can't stop that. That was a badass Virgo right there. A whole bunch of them. All right. Get some sweet smoke around here. And we are gonna read from my cappy caps. Let's go. Let's go. Tarot time. Cappy style. Cappy style. Can't curse the blessed. Nope. <laughs> they still haven't figured that out. <laughs> Dummies. <laughs> oh. <laughs> judgment on the devil. Yeah, anyway. Capricorn, Capi Cap. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising Venus, Capi Cap. Capi Cap. Let's do it. Tarot time. Capricorn. Hello, Capricorn. Rambling Mike here, gonna play a little tarot with you. Thanks for tuning in one more time. Appreciate your time, your love, your light, your likes. I always want to say thank you for your many, many gifts over the years, Capricorn. If you've ever blessed me in any way, shape, or form, thank you so very much. Appreciate you. I am playing with a fun deck tonight. It is the White Fly Tarot. I want to give it a shout out. Somebody somebody sent this to my P.O. box a couple of years back. I've been loving it ever since it showed up. I'm sure that you can find one of these if you look around on the internet and you're interested. It's called the White Fly Tarot. And I'm going to be playing with uh, Doreen's Love Cards first to throw out the base. And then um, my 22 faves. The Terra Illuminati to top it off. I am looking for love, but these are relationship spreads, so they can be about work, they can be about family. Of course, they can play out vice versa. We all know Terra around here, but I am looking for love. With all that being said, Tarot time, huh? Let's do it. Let's do it. Cappy Cap, Cappy Cap. What's the love cards want to talk about with Capricorn? Capricorn. Codependency. Addictions are affecting the love life. Yuck. Yuck. Everybody, everybody be like, yuck. No, no, not, not to me, not today. Not to me, not today. No, 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 I'm not playing with that. No, <laughs> right there, loving yourself first. Not to me, not today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, you know, you know, loving yourself first. So it's letting that kind of stuff go, whoever, whatever that is right there, Capricorn. This is a beautiful healing energy you got going on right now. I like this. I like this. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. 
I mean, it's uh, first. Bye, Pink Devil. Bye-bye. That, that's a Pink Devil card, right? That's a Pink Devil. Yeah, somebody. Somebody, you know, it's drugs or whatever, man. Anyway, loving yourself first is the answer to that. It says, no, thank you. I'm going to pour this big old cup of love on me. I'm going to chase me down the street with a love cup. Uh-huh. Here we go. Capricorn. 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 What's going on around here? Flirt. Yeah. Oh, extend your lighthearted energy to some new peeps and new love. <laughs> hey, blame it on the eclipses, man. New love been showing up all night around here. Ooh, no wonder I feel good. I like the new love card. Flirt, new love, new person stirring your romantic feelings. Yeah, extending your lighthearted energy to others, loving yourself first. Bye, devil. Bye, devil. Go over there and just, you know, do what you do. Do what you do, you know. Anyway, hasta la vista, sayonara. Gotta go. I like this for you, Cappy Cap. Here we go. Here we go. Tarot time. I like the new love card right there. I like the new love card. Let's cut it. Let's cut it. Here we go. Here we go. Six swords. Six swords. This is an interesting looking six swords right here, right? This is about, well, generally it's got the boat. The sword's all up in the front of the boat. It's about learning life lessons. It's about heading to a new world. I call it Paradise Island. It's like you're uh, reaching for your arrow right there. Shoot that arrow in a new direction in life. That's a flirt, new love. Probably know where you want the boat to go, but definitely all done with that. Six Swords for me is about learning life lessons and forward movement. Forward movement, loving yourself first, shooting the arrow. Shooting the arrow in a new direction, the copy I'm reading for right here. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, loving yourself first. This is nice. Give me a card, Capricorn. Eight cups. Oh, damn it, man. You're done, done, done with whoever that pink devil is right over there, whatever that is. Eight cups is about uh, letting it go, man. Heading out to go find your ninth and your tenth cup. It's on your board right here. New love is on this board right here. Eight cups, man. That, 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 that game has played out. That game right there. Done. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. <laughs> Tower. Tower and the hammer comes down. Boom. Tower. Tower on all that. Change. Sudden change. The hammer falls. Wow. Cappy cap. Cappy cap. All right. Oh, the sun came out. There's a new world over here, huh? Flirt and new love and the sun showed up. Damn, that's nice stuff right there, man. Look at Hangman right here. <laughs> Look at Hangman right here. Coming out of the Hangman Street, Cappy Cap. Hoot hoo, hoot hoo. <laughs> I like that Hangman. I like him. Hey, man. Get on your bad motor scooter. Heading towards the sun. Definitely came out of that tree right there. Bye bye. Bye bye, Hangman. Yeah, Hangman. That's a Pisces card. That's a Leo card. These are major arcanas showing up. That you getting out of that hangman street heading for the sun. New love flirting going on around here. 
Oh, oh man, Jesus. What the hell is going on around here, man? Major arcanas all upon this, man. <laughs> yeah. After that tower, we ain't got nothing but majors. Capricorn. I don't know. It's a hermit. So that's a nice healing energy. And uh, the death and rebirth. <laughs> These majors, man. Death and rebirth. Scorpio. This is Virgo. Lord, you made it out, man. <laughs> you made it out. Lordy. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, judgment. You ain't going back. This is not going back to that. Not going back to the donkeys. He -hop. He -hop. Yeah, it's a fresh start, a new beginning. Look at these majors. All a bunch of majors in a row. Got a fresh start, a new beginning, a leap of faith in a new direction. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Six of Cups, soulmate energy showing up here on this new love, flirt energy. Ooh, and look at there's a beautiful six right there, too. That is Six of Pentacles. Ooh, that's such a beautiful Six of Pentacles. Look at all the balance in that right there. I like this new start right here. I like this new start. We got some kind of ending over here. Three swords. Let's do some spiritual surgery and be done with this, huh? Cappy Cap. Here we go. Out, out, out. Out of Cappy's heart. Out of Cappy's spread. Yeah. Off to a new world right here. Eight pins. Phoenix from its ashes. This is gorgeous over here. This new love energy showing up around here. Usa. Star. Beautiful healing energy. Beautiful healing energy. This new friend may be at a distance. Three wands, but uh, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, wow. Um, look at this. Anyway, I don't even want to look at that mess anymore. That's all done. Capy, capy, cap. Loving yourself first. That's what happens when you love yourself first, man. That's what happens. It's gorgeous, my friend. All right. Hope this resonates with you. It's gorgeous. Love this new love and this new energy coming in here for you. It's gorgeous. Love that eight pins. Love the star. Love that six pins. Love that six cups. The sun. Hangman coming out of the tree. The fool. Beautiful, man. Let's go. Cappy cap. What we got? The fool. It's about a fresh start, new beginning, leap of faith to the sun. These cards are repeating themselves. Wow. Let's put justice right on that mess right over there. Let the gods figure that out. You off to do a new journey right here. It's a beautiful, beautiful energy over here. Cappy cap, love and light talking to you in a couple days. This is the power of loving yourself. First. I'll talk to you in a couple days, Cappy Cap. Serious busting a move right there. Proud of you. Go get your new love. Okay, my water babies. My water babies. Hey, Melissa. Glad you're here tonight. Let me show you. Show you your cup right there. Water. Cancer. Pisces. Scorpio. Sun. Moon. Rising. Venus. Let's see what's going on with my water babies. My water babies.
Okay. Let's do it. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. <laughs> well, you know, three keys. Um, you can get out there and you can take authority over that. That's trying to come in here and mess up your, your neighborhood. I'm in agreement with you, especially if you're being serious. I've told more than one tornadoes, get the hell out of here. Watch one of them go whoosh, right back up into the cloud. Get out there and use your authority. Tell that, tell that situation, you can't come near me and mine. I live in hurricane country down here. And um, if it's a big hurricane, I evacuate. I'm smart. But I always walk around my property and, and uh, set angels all around it. I come back home and all the neighbors' roofs are all blown off their house. My place looks great. We have authority. How many of us are using that? Is the, right? Get out there. Point your finger at it. Go, not to me, not today. Get the hell out of here. Get the hell out of here anyway. Anyway, I love you guys, man. All right, all right, all right. Let's go. Who's up? My water babies. Water babies. Okay, guys. Yeah, let's just have some fun. <laughs> Ricky, hello, my friend. Yeah, we're all sending protection to anybody that needs protection around here tonight. Stand in your authority. I'm in agreement with you. Tell it. Get gone, man. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Pisces. Pisces. It's a big badass fish right there. All right. Let's do it. Let's play some tarot. Let's have some fun here tonight. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Pisces. Pisces. My Pisces babies. Let's shake them up right here. Ooh. Little page jumped out. A page of pins. Uh huh. Oh, to nine pins. Oh, somebody could be making you an offer. All right, let's play some tarot. Let's rock and roll. Pisces, babies, Pisces. Hello, Pisces. Rambling Mike here, gonna play a little tarot with you. Thanks for tuning in again. One more time, my Pisces friends. Thanks for all your love and all your light. You're absolutely amazing. Thanks for your likes. Always want to take a minute and say thank you for your many, many gifts. Your many, many gifts over the years, Pisces, if you've ever blessed me in any way, shape, or form. Thank you so very much. So very kind of you. Appreciate it. That I do. Pisces, I'm going to be playing with a fun tarot deck tonight. The White Fly Tarot. Uh, one of my friends sent this to me in my P.O. box a couple of years ago now. I like it. It's fun. It's fanciful. Um, if you want one, you probably I'm sure you can find one. You know, Google White Fly Tarot. It'll probably show up. Hopefully, huh? I am going to be uh, also playing with Doreen's love cards. I've been throwing out a base. I've been throwing out a base with these for a minute here. Because I'm looking for love, you know. But these are relationship spreads. I want to remind you. They can talk about work. They can talk about family. But oh, rambling. I'm looking for love. You know, that's true. So we're going to throw out a base with the Doreen's love cards. And then we're going to top it off. Uh, the spread with my 22 faves from the Illuminati majors. Let's go. Let's go. Pisces, babies. Pisces, babies. Pisces love team. Here we go. Pisces. Pisces. What do we got? What do we got? Look, we're love. That's why we're starting with the love deck. Stay optimistic about your love life. Oh, well, that means it could be, could have been challenging for a minute, huh? 
positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. That's what I'm talking about right here. Staying optimistic about your love life. Hmm. Just saw a safe place to love. That would be beautiful, wouldn't it? Give me a card, Pisces. Here we go. Attraction came out. Ooh, like attracts like. Like attracts like showed up. And that's also a card about let the past be in the past. Be in the now, be in the moment. Smelling the roses, staying optimistic. Being in your now, that is so powerful. To be in your now. Let the past be in the past, not put too much pressure on the future. This future might be bright. There's an engagement card right there. Let's go. Pisces. Pisces. Smelling the roses. Staying optimistic. Here we go. One more. Huh? One more. New love. Oh, my God. This came out all night long, man. Oh, <laughs> hey, Pisces, being in the now, being in the moment, staying optimistic about your love life. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. <laughs> hey. Okay, let's have some fun with this tarot spread here today. Pisces, let's go. Let's go. Like attracts like. New love showing up around here. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Let's go. A couple tarot cards on this. A couple tarot cards with Pisces. New love. New love in the house. Yeah. Thank you, Eclipses. Here we go, man. Page of Swords. Somebody may have had their eye on you for a minute. Maybe they got air in their chart. Somebody, somebody's been keeping keeping tabs on you for a minute. Let's put that over there. I like it. I like it. It's our little information gathered. Oh, okay. Somebody's been watching you over here smelling the flowers, being in the now, being in the moment, enjoying your life. Definitely attracting somebody. They be watching you. Um, I don't know. This is ten wands, huh? Um, maybe this new person wants to actually help you be a helper. What? Who is this? Who is this over here? Got the eye on. Pisces, I don't know, ten wands. I don't know. They they definitely look at them. Look at them. They'd be like, I could help Pisces. I could help. That's so interesting. Wow, you got somebody that's actually wants to help. What? <laughs> what? Here we go, man. Here we go. No, this ain't no stalker. No, this ain't no stalker. This is somebody that actually, I, I feel, yeah, look, three cups, man. This is a nice energy right here. This is somebody that uh, wants to bring happiness into your life. They they, they don't want you to have a heavy load with life. That's what I'm getting. I don't know. They want to be your helper. They want to be your helpmate. I don't know what's going on here. It's nice, man. I got a nice feeling. I got a nice energy about this. This ain't some creeper. This is somebody that wants to come in here and bring happiness and joy and bliss. See, it's a new energy. I don't, I don't even, I don't even. Oh, they they looking at you like you're the catch, man. You the cat's meow. <laughs> you're the queen of pentacles. Yeah, wow. This is nice, Pisces. This is nice, man. This person wants long term with you. 
Have you even met him yet? I don't feel no creeper at all, man. This is somebody who wants long term with you. This is the King and Queen of Pentacles. See, three cups. Happiness, and joy, and bliss. They want to help you end the burdensome cycle, right? They'd be watching you carry a heavy load. Hmm? They, you, you could be talking with them. I mean, that is a communication card, the Page of Swords. Oh, look, I told you, man. This isn't bad. This is good, man. This is real good. This Ten of Pentacles came out. Damn, they are sweet on you, ain't they? And um, if they haven't been talking, they're going to be talking real soon. There's a page of wands, and they're going to be talking about love. That's the queen of love right there. They're going to be talking about love. This seems to actually be ending a painful cycle for some of my Pisces. That's ten swords, ten swords, ten wands, man. Oh, see, I'm telling you, they're freaking serious, man. There's a hair fat right there. Yeah, if you don't know who this is, they're gonna be talking to you soon. It's right there. These are communication cards. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you, they they want long term with you. They already swooning over you. <laughs> Something about a whole new world. Whole new world, Pisces whole new world on your thread right here on with the new love if you've been staying optimistic you've been in the now you've been in the moment attraction is a like attracts like energy this is somebody that wants to bring happiness and joy and they do got a plan definitely includes you they think that you are the power couple man and uh, huh? they want to play. They, <laughs> they want to play some reindeer games. Hey, that's a hair fat right there. Uh, they want to. They want to have you go to a whole new world. Hey, this is really light. It's really refreshing. This isn't a creeper. It seems to be a keeper. With that being said, let's see what the majors say. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Pisces love team. Wow, Scorpio energy on this. It's about death and rebirth. For Pisces? Oh, <laughs> the stability of the emperor. I. I'm loving these spreads. Here we go. Here we go. Death and rebirth. All right, give me one more. And the wheel of fortune. That's so nice, man. And the star. I told you I wasn't getting bad vibes off this at all, man. This is new. Like attracts like. The potential of dreams coming true. This is the sun as well. <laughs> hey. It's all new. It's fresh. It's the full energy. Pisces. Absolutely gorgeous, darling. Somebody wants to come in here and swoop you off your feet. Man. Nice energy on it, too. Love and light. Enjoy the journey. Talk with you in just a couple days, my friends. All right. All right. Power of the eclipses, huh? Change, boy. All right. Two more of my water babies. Two more of my water babies. Cancer. Cancer babies. My cancers. I like it. I like all the spreads tonight. Nice light energy. Nice vibes in the house. Thank you, guys. Okay. Cancer babies. Cancer babies. 
Let's do it. Cancer. Let's see. Let's see what Tara wants to talk about in the Kansas. The lovers. Look at that. Oh, Lordy. Oh, yeah. Son, what is going on? That's so nice, man. I think Monday nights were nice, too, huh? All right. Let's shake them up, man. Let's shake them up. Cancer. Got my 33 in here. A bunch of my masters. Thank you, guys. All right. Cancer. Here we go. Hello, Cancer. Rambling Mike here. Going to play a little tarot with you. Thanks for tuning in one more time. Appreciate your views. Appreciate your love, your light, my Cancer friends. Thanks for your likes. And always want to take a minute and say thank you for your many gifts over the years, Cancer. Huge givers. You always have been. Huge supporters, old Rambler Mike. Love you guys. If you've ever blessed me in any way, shape, or form, Cancer, thank you so very much. So very kind of you. I appreciate it all. I am playing with the white fly tarot. This is a gift that somebody gave me. They sent it to my P.O. box a couple of years ago now. And uh, it's a fun, lighthearted deck. Um, if you're interested in it, uh, you should be able to Google White Fly Tarot and uh, get you a copy of it if you'd like. I like it. I like playing with it every now and then. I am also going to be playing with Doreen's Love Cards. You know, we're going to throw the base out. We're going to throw the base out with the love cards, and we're going to throw some white fly, and we're going to top it off uh, with my 22 faves, my Terra Illuminati majors. Uh, I am looking for love, but I want to remind you these are relationship spreads. They can play out about work. They can play out about family. They can play out vice versa. But I am looking for love. All that being said, let's go. Cancer. Cancer, babies. Let's get some love cards on this. What is going on with my Cancer, babies? Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Here we go. First card out. Cancer. Damn, let's start off strong. Engagement showed up. Lord, eh? Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Ooh la la. Ooh, cancer. Engagement. <laughs> uh, worth waiting for. Oh, it's here at hand. Divine timing starts now. Be like, uh, let, let me let me see your fingers. <laughs> let me see your fingers. Divine timing. At hand now, worth waiting for, calling in your soulmate. Your prayers and affirmations and visualizations have helped bring you together. Yes, this is your soulmate. Go, Cancer. Nice cards. Okay. Let's see what the white fly wants to say about this right here. For my cancer babies, cancer, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Here we go, cancer babies, cancer babies. Engagement, engagement. Well, that sounds pretty specific. I, 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 don't, I, I don't know, maybe against the law to be engaged in more than one person. I don't know, I don't know those kind of laws, but. Worth waiting for. Calling in your soulmate, and then bam, soulmate showing up right there. That's all I know. This is for a particular cancer right here, man, that uh, divine timing is right now. Let's go, let's go. Let's cut this tarot deck and play with cancers. Here we go. It's the Knight of Cups. That's the one whose heart's going boom, daddy, boom, daddy, boom, boom, boom. Oh, 
Oh, heart's going boom to him. Look at this, man. Ooh, cancer, I'm swooning. <laughs> I am swooning here, cancer. And so is your friend. <laughs> and so is your friend, huh? Ooh, there's a love cup coming in here for you. Hi, cancer. Here's my cup. <laughs> Woo! -hoo! Woo! Here we go. Cancer. Cancer babies. Cancer babies. Got somebody swooning. I like it. Ricard, what do we got? Five cups. Wow. Look at these three cups back here. Devils. <laughs> those are devils in those cups back there. Those are those, are those past cups. Uh, at least there was one devil in them. But look at these two cups up here in the front. They'd be overflowing. They'd be overflowing. Yeah, we ain't talking about none of those devil cups. No. We're talking about two cups right here overflowing on this spread. Damn, this is love, man. This is cancer right here. Got love coming in. I'm excited for you. I mean, I am excited for you. Ooh, ooh, they're probably good looking, exciting, charismatic, king of wands energy, entrepreneur energy. This person got the shit going on, man. Cancer. I ain't reading about no devil in them past cups. Could be new, huh? Don't got new on here, but I got two cups right there. And I got a knight. That's a fresh energy, man. Divine timing. Worth waiting for. Somebody wants to play for keeps, man. They good looking too, ain't they? Let's, let's leave that king out there right there. Let's leave that king out there. They're good looking. They got their shit going on. This ain't, this ain't nobody book busted and disgusted. I like all this. Cancer, I'm digging your cards, man. Give me a card right here. When you're calling them in, you be calling them in. Ace of Wands, damn. Oh, and the Ace of Cups. And a Wheel of Fortune. That's new. That's new passion, new emotions, and the Wheel of Fortune. Change for the better. Change for the better. It's a destiny card there, too. A destiny card. Wow. Wow, Cancer. This looks new. It looks fresh. It looks exciting. Ain't no freaking devil. Nope. <laughs> looks like... Looks like you might be coming out of the hangman's tree right here. Look, mom, no hands. Hoo -hoo 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 -hoo. Hoo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> Had cancer coming out of the hangman's tree. Yeah. I, I do believe this is new. That's a page. That's a page. Oh, and look at this. Phoenix from its ashes. This is eight pinnacles right here. Look at that golden path. I don't know. I'm digging this card. I dig this deck. Wow. It's something about justice. Something about the balancing of karma in Cancer's love life. It's outstanding, my friend. Outstanding. All right. Yes, uh, very nice, man. Good looking, exciting, charismatic, fun to be with. Ain't no slouch, king energy, entrepreneur. Oh, Lord, they're bringing in justice in your love life, bringing you out of the hangman's tree. Look, man, I mean, it, it could be like a beginning of a power couple. Anyway. Give me a major for cancer, babies. The lovers. <laughs> the lovers. And look, that's judgment. That's about Phoenix from its ashes. 
Oh, there's Venus. There's Venus, the love card, love and abundance. Oh my God, what is this? Anyway, Cancer, looks like it uh, could be a power couple to me. Enjoy the journey. Enjoy the journey. Justice has showed up with a couple of aces and a wheel of fortune in your love life. Talk to you soon, Cancer. Love and light, my friends. Wow. Okay. Let's go. Scorpio. Scorpio. My Scorpios. Saving the best for last, Scorpio. Saving the best for last. That's what I'm talking about around here. I'm just going to call it. I was going to call it the best for last, Scorpio. Let's shake them up around here. Shake them up around here. Best for last. Best for last. That's what I'm calling. I won't have it any other way. <laughs> Scorpio. 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 Let's go. Let's go. Let's do it, man. Tarot time with my friends. All right, all right, all right. Scorpio babies. Hi, passions. Okay. <laughs> Hilarious. All right. Let's go. Hello, Scorpio. Rambling Mike here. Going to play a little tarot with you. Thanks for tuning in one more time, my Scorpio friends. Appreciate you that I do. Thanks for all your love. Thanks for all your light. Thanks for your likes. Always want to take a minute and say thank you for your many, many gifts over the years, Scorpio. Appreciate them all, large or small. If you've ever blessed me in any way, shape, or form, Scorpio, thank you. Appreciate it. Scorpio, I am playing with a fun deck tonight, the White Fly Tarot. Somebody blessed me with this in my P.O. box a couple of years ago now, I believe. Um, it's a fun, lighthearted deck. Yeah. Oh, look, nine pins is showing up around here. My little fox. Oh, what's going on here? It wants to talk. My little foxy Scorpio. My little nine of pinnacles Scorpio. Anyway, hey, if you're interested in this deck, um, I'm sure you can Google it online. It's the White Fly Tarot. Look at that, nine pins. Ooh, that's nice, man. Oh, look. Oh, they want to talk, man. This is six pins. Nine pins. Wow. That's some spiritual stuff right there. Okay. Anyway, man. Anyway, man. Wow. Um, I am going to throw the base out with uh, Doreen's love cards. I've been doing this for a minute. And I'm going to top it off huh, with my 22 faves, the Terra Illuminati. I can't wait to get into that one right there, boy. Nine pins and six pins. Nice stuff. Now, I am doing love spreads, but I want to remind you that these are relationship spreads. So these can talk about work or, or family. They can play out vice versa. We all know tarot around here, right? But Mike's looking for love. That all being said, let's do it. Let's do it. Scorpio, love. First card out. Great love is where taking the steps you're guided to take. We got some movement around here on the love scene. Make the effort. Great love. It's only one word for love in English, so I guess I got to amplify it with other words like great love or 
not so great love. Mediocre love. This is a great, great love. We got some great love energy showing up around here. Yes, we do. <laughs> I, I can't wait. I, I'm putting them out here. I'm putting my. I'm putting them out here. I need this balance, spirituality. That's six pinnacles. This is like some balanced, great love. I want to come in here for my little foxy Scorpio, or you want to take it somewhere? Oh, it ends a painful cycle. Okay, man, you your cards got me all over the place, but I'm digging it. Great love. Lots of golden pinnacles around here. Let's go, man. Ooh, chemistry. Ooh la la. What's going on around here, Scorpio? Chemistry and great love. There's a strong magnetic attraction. Scorpio. I like it. Spirituality here, too, man. Ooh. And you know, nine pins, I mean, somebody's single. Now that's a plus in the love reading. <laughs> hey, somebody's single around here. Okay. And romantic feelings. Your cards are so nice. I feel so excited, Scorpio. These feelings are real and worth exploring. I would say, I would say this would be worth exploring. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A lot of spirituality in that. A lot of money in that, too, man. So we got make the effort. Great loves worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Chemistry, strong magnetic attraction here. Romantic feelings. These feelings are real and worth exploring. Let's go. Let's throw some tarot on it. Scorpio style. Scorpio style. Let's go. Let's go. Let's cut it right here. Let's cut it. Let's cut it. Scorpio babies. That's that Seven of Swords mess right there. That ain't this. That ain't this. That's that old heavy burden. Look at that. Who's that? Damn it. What's it talking about this for, Scorpio? I don't know, man. It could be a little magician. It's a uh, I don't know, man. Um, this is dark magic crap. Somebody trying to, you know, keep this from manifesting in your life, maybe didn't work. It's right here on my board. I don't know. I don't know. It's a little. It's a little kitchen sink soup magician right there. I don't know. They're mixing up some shit, man. Probably backfired on their ass. Anyway, I wonder why that showed up. Because this is about spirituality. This is not that. This is like uh, meant to be. Oh wow. Oh, oh, oh wow, I say that. I say meant to be. And uh Queen of Pins and Queen of Cups are right there. The Queen of Stability, the Queen of Love. Yeah, this shit backfired on this creep. This creep is showing up in your spread. Who's this creep, Scorpio? Five of swords, snakes, and all kinds of shit, man. I don't like all that. They couldn't stop it. This is like destined right here. Scorpio, this is destined, okay? See? This is called the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Destiny.
Oh, there's some face cards here, man. A lot of air energy here. Anyway, a lot of air energy right there. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus is also fire over here. Just saying. Can we get off that right there? Because it looks like it blew up in their face. Whatever. This is somebody trying to stop this or something. I don't like all that. Anyway, they didn't. They didn't. See? Because the Ace of Wands, that's a new beginning. That's a new passionate beginning. I don't know why it's talking about that. Again, I mean, you, you cannot curse what has been blessed. Everybody just rest assured in that, right? It's saying that you cannot curse what has been blessed by the gods. When we play tarot, there's always somebody over here playing around. They don't know what they're doing. They always playing around, mixing up all kinds of shit, love bombing or whatever the hell this is over here. Always backfires on them. I don't know why it shows up. It does. This is a divine union right here. I don't know why people or energies try to stop these divine unions, but they do. This one blew up in that in that bonehead's face. Okay. It's more than one. Why is it talking about them? There's a king. Here's a queen. And uh damn page. And see, they tried to stop this. This is a divine union. They tried to stop it. <laughs> this is stupid shit, man. I don't know. Again, man, you can't curse that which has been blessed. This is coming together right here for a Scorpio. There's four wands and the sun. Um, ten pinnacles. This is a powerful love story right here. Even had the hounds of hell trying to stop it, but they could not. Uh huh. And nothing but heartache and heartbreak for these people over here. I don't know why they do this stupid shit. Whoever their master is always leads them astray. Always leads them down the road of... Uh, destruction and dismay that's all i get out of these kind of reads when these show up you can't you can't curse which is blessed this is a blessed union for Scorpio. i knew best for last it's right here man this is best for last um this is coming together right here it's all i know man see cut right to chariot victory forward movement Cancer energy on that. And look, man, it's crazy. Here's a Scorpio card right here. Death. Oh, shit. I'm putting that right there. You know why? Because I can. Yeah. Mind your own business. Go get a life. <laughs> and leave my star people alone. <laughs> this is a divine union right here it's so blessed it's so blessed look at you guys look at you guys man oh <laughs> i'm gonna show you five wands look at this guy right there that big old bear but this guy has a spear right here you see it i do and i know where that bear is gonna land on Wow. See, see, this person right here is trying to build the star. It just came out. See, trying to build the star. But this bear about to get it. Anyway, man, damn it. That came after that. I don't know who these people are, man. But I couldn't stop this right here. I, I, I'm just going to let it go with that, man. I'm trying to giggle. Yeah, it's a dumbass devil. That's who it was. 
Look at how creepy these people are. Creepy. Oh, that day's done, man. Look at my warrior. Look at you, man. What you talking about, Willis? Bring it. Scorpio. <laughs> oh, this is probably a very special union. Very special union right here, man. Anyway, I've seen enough of this, man. This is Scorpio kicking ass and taking names. Love you, my powerhouse, man. This is a divine union right here. Whatever that means. Forces that be tried to stop this one from coming together. That's all I know. They failed, man. They failed. It's death on that. Give me a major arcana for Scorpio. Scorpio. <laughs> My badass Scorpios, man. All right. All right. All right. Whew. The Empress came out. <laughs> Told you you can't curse the blessed people. What it's meant to be, it's going to be. Venus energy on top of all this. Love and abundance. Yeah. Earth angels right here. Huh? This is a union of earth angels right here, man. It's so powerful, man. Anyway, I love you, Scorpio. I was trying to keep it light and airy, but I can't when you're out there kicking ass, okay? All right, Scorpio, I love you. <laughs> Enjoy the journey. Again, you cannot curse the blessed. The divine win again. I love you guys, man. Powerful stuff. Enjoy the journey, my loves. I had fun tonight. Hope you did too. May all your dreams come true, my friends. May all your dreams come true. I will see many of you tomorrow, huh? 6.30 p.m. I start going a little earlier because I got 20 people. Might go at 5 p.m. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, trying to put it all together. You're reading pretty much 20 people a night anymore. So might um, start earlier so that I end earlier and get my rest, you know, all that kind of stuff. But I had fun tonight. I thought you guys were amazing in the house. Thank you for all your love, all your light, nation. You guys are the best. I will see many of you tomorrow. Peaceful, restful sleep, my friends. The gods are with you. 